Hi everyone, I've got a little video going out today that's inspired by a question from one of my subscribers and he must be a local guy to be honest because he's asked about a particular roundabout in my area but there are a few things that we can have a little think of and look at regarding this roundabout that are going to apply to many scenarios perhaps where you live. So the comment, first of all, says this. Hi Ashley, I've always wanted to ask about the roundabout outside Croxteth Park gates at the end of Muirhead Avenue. I lived in the area for years and myself and most people always treat this differently than the sign. Going from Muirhead towards Croxteth Park Estate should be a right turn as it's in the two o'clock position. It's safer to do this and most people do this. But the signs state it's a straight. First of all, let's have a little look at the layout. It's, for me, it's a normal roundabout. We've got even the sign on the right hand side, the brown sign, um, saying that it's a four exit roundabout. We're approaching from six and you've got one at nine, 12 and three. So on the first impression, it would probably not be dealt with in any different way. But my viewer said about this particular direction that we're coming from, to go across to the road across the other side, you should treat it like a right turn. I can sort of see the reasoning behind this. He did say that the junction across the other side is slightly, he said it was about two o'clock, it's not quite, it's just probably slightly past 12. You may have seen my other videos um, regarding roundabouts and especially the one on um, whether it's a right turn or not and if you're ever in doubt you should treat this like a right turn but there's a little bit more to it than that there's a little bit of history with this particular junction um, that i'm going to try and explain it wasn't always a roundabout it was actually at one point just a bend in the road and luckily enough i've been able to dig some old maps out to give everyone an idea of what it's like so first of all here's what it looks like at the moment this is a um a quick zoom in from google maps so you can see that we're approaching from this junction just here on this left hand side and my viewer was talking about going to the road across the other side and if you're ever in doubt, yes, you should treat it like a right turn. But the danger is with this particular road that it used to be a bend with the junction across the other side that we're talking about used to be a side road. The road here used to bend round to the left and this is what it used to look like. And for me, the problem is that people in the area, locals, still remember it as that and i've had many scenarios where we've done the roundabout from this direction and we've been going ahead me and my pupils i'm talking about and someone from lane two the right hand side has tried to turn left probably because they remember it being a bend and obviously that's a lethal thing if you're going left you cannot use the right lane at a roundabout unless you're signposted otherwise and that's the key with this roundabout for me that there are no signs telling you which lane to be in to go in different directions so you really you've got to obey the highway code rules and the sign that we've got here on the right hand side there is another problem as well with this roundabout that if you actually come from the road on the left hand side people quite often um, go around to the right from the left side and the left lane and that again probably goes back to the fact that it used to be a bend and people remember going round in two and that can also cause problems so the point that i'm really getting at is although local knowledge you may think that you know how to do this particular junction or or what everyone else does that doesn't necessarily mean that it's right and it's this probably um, local knowledge perspective that people have if you meet that with someone who 
doesn't know the area and doesn't know how certain people do this particular junction and they're going to do it by the book it would cause big issues just for example I've already mentioned that my uh, my lessons we've conducted where we're going to go ahead we'll use the left lane and it's a big danger if someone's from the right cutting across and that's the big problem with this particular roundabout how would you know that if you just came here and you weren't familiar with the area well the simple answer is you wouldn't how would you deal with the roundabout then well this is a part of awareness that you've always got to be on that high level you've always got to be aware of people around you all the time knowing where they're positioned being careful not to be in a blind spot and if you're there with a particular car and this car turns you've got problems but what if you're here with this particular car and the car turns it's a little bit different so it's learning to position your car and be constantly aware of people all around you is always going to get you a little bit of time a little bit of leeway to get you out of situations like this but it's the main thing that i'm talking about here with this today the conflict between what people think and what should go on is different but sometimes these things will catch people out so let us know of your experiences if you can i hope that the information that i've given you on this junction specific to me is relatable to something that you come up with and maybe it'll help you deal with it in a safer way thanks a lot for watching everyone keep safe hope to see you soon